So let's kind of browse the Wii Shop. Uh, where's the Wii Shop channel? Here we go. Okay. Nice little relaxing music to kind of help you shop. Uh, there's some games that I want for sure. So I only put uh, 10,000 credits, which I believe equals like uh, maybe $100 total. So that'll give me some breathing room to definitely get some stuff. Uh, here's just the usual crap that they said. So actually, uh, since I didn't write this down, we can go ahead and read it. Uh, yeah, they're going to shut down uh, at the end of early next year, technically. So January 30th, 2019. But the weak point is how you buy stuff. So you only had until March 26th to uh, add stuff. If you haven't, which it's, it's really way beyond that date. You can't add any more points, so if you don't have any points, you can't purchase any of this stuff. You have, just have to wait for it to show up on the Switch, possibly one day. Uh, there's no telling, but anyhow, if you did add, add credits, uh, you have till January 30th, 2019. So I'm going to go ahead and browse. I have 10,000 credits, which is equal to $100. So, uh, so there you go. So let's go back. Uh, and we can go ahead and start shopping. Uh, so see, before you had a button right here to add points, that's gone. So you can't add any points. So I only have a hundred bucks uh, to spend. Period. So let's look at the WiiWare. I'm not sure how much I'll spend today. I may just uh, just buy a few of them because after this, it's it's you know, it's uh, locked out till they uh, till they add something. So I guess the most popular is like. This Contra Rebirth. Now, uh, Konami had, I think, three of them that were Rebirth series. Well, actually, here you go. Castlevania Rebirth. Uh, so this is like $10. The Adventures Castlevania Rebirth. Uh, I know it was... It was a Castlevania Contra. And I think they had one more Rebirth game. No, they had Gradius. So it's Castlevania. The rebirths are kind of like remakes, just enhanced just a little bit. So they have Castlevania, Contra, that's $20. Gradius, which is $30. I thought there was, oh, there's also a, is it Master Blaster Rebirth? Rebirth? Rebirth, Rebirth. Uh, shoot, I may have to make a list of the games I want to get to see if I have enough. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to make a list. Because if, if they're ten dollars, which uh, most of them are, it's only ten games. And I already counted what? Castlevania's one, two, three with Radius. I don't know what Tetris Party is. Uh, fluidity is supposed to be good. That's 12 bucks. So that's, you know, what, 42? Uh, you mean the cubes is supposed to be kind of good? So this is 52 bucks already, so this is half my budget. Uh, so I think I may just browse more. No, I don't want to do that. Well, I guess I'll just purchase the ones I know I want for sure. Uh, and then think about the rest, because like I said, I don't have any, uh, you can't add any more money, so. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and buy that one, and then just let it download to the Wii, I guess. So maybe they'll give me an indication. Okay, got it. So I'm assuming it must work the same way as the virtual console, which I guess what I'll do is I'll just buy just a few of these titles and then figure out what the deal is with the the SD card, etc. Yeah, okay, download that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some space management or something before I continue anymore. Maybe I'll just buy one more. I like Castlevania one. I'm not too sure on that one. I'll have to look, look it up. 
Uh, but the other, the, other, the other rebirth game that did look good was the uh, Gradius Rebirth. So I'll go ahead and purchase that one. This one shouldn't be too uh, too big. Okay, online's not gonna work. Uh, still uses 200 blocks, so. So my blocks are going here, so I'm gonna have to look at an SD card situation. And like I said, read up on the digital rights management, so. Okay, so I have uh, 70 bucks left. Uh, so I spent 30 bucks on three games, essentially, not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna start at one of these just, just to look at it. Yeah, so 10 bucks a game, not the best, not the worst. So let's just check out the Blaster Master since I'm here. Uh, okay, how do I open it? Do I have to go back to the main screen? I guess we probably have to go back to the main main screen of the Wii, virtual Wii on the Wii U. Yeah, so we just put it as a channel, so. Let's just try Master Blaster as a test. Then yes, I'm sure you can download these games and hack the actual Wii, maybe even the Wii U, and go through all that trouble, or I could just pay 10 bucks like I just did. And plus it's legal for one, that's always a plus when you do something that's legal. Press one button, okay. I feel like I have to press this sideways. Okay. You know, the first one, the story for the first one is the kid and his frog just jumps in the hole and disappears and he goes to look for it and it becomes mutated or something. And this game's had one of the best uh, musical scores of the Nintendo. Like, so the graphics are enhanced, uh, not by today's standards, but, uh, you know, compared to the original Nintendo one, definitely a lot better. And this one's just nostalgia. I just, I just love, I've always loved uh, Blaster Master. And I still need to finish the Blaster Master Zero on my uh, Switch. Kind of put it down for a little bit. So, yeah, okay, we can get out. So I'll just try one of these interior levels. Or these, uh, see what these look like. Okay, it's definitely a nice little upgrade. Okay, and I forgot to not save points this way, so. Yeah, so I'll save. It's just a test, okay. Awesome. Oh, that's a save point. So, like, so I keep track of them. I'll be able to say, or you know, say that I need to get for me to get trouble. Oh, it's kind of a little bit harder than the original. Crap. Anyway, that was just a quick test. I'm going to quit this. Yeah? Okay, no, no lives, so let's uh, go back to the Wii menu. So anyhow, that was just a you know quick browsing of the Wii shop, and I do have a Wii, but it's kind of hacked, etc. And then since my Wii U is newer, it made sense for me to buy them on the Wii U. First of all, it's newer hardware, so it's probably gonna last a lot longer, and then it's not hacked, so it's all legit. So yeah, so I spent thirty dollars, and I have seventy left. I have till the end of the year to spend it, and I'm gonna look at some of this digital rights management, and uh, hopefully. It's tied to my Nintendo account since it's on the Wii, which is tied to my Wii U. So hopefully it's backed up somehow. If not, I'll just have to be really careful with the system and take care of it, which you should anyway. Uh, it just, uh, or, and you know, and if you haven't uh, put any credits into this Wii shop or whatever, you can always hope and they probably will release these at some point for the Nintendo Switch. But as of yet, they don't even have the virtual console, so who knows, and there's no announcements, so you just have to kind of wait and see. 
But as anyway, always uh, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.